This is the place to go for anime, manga, comics, video games, all pop culture information. This is the place that you need to be. This program is brought to you by Black and Studios Entertainment Division. Remember, it's Black and. This is Casey Kasem, and you're listening to the Elijah Bailey Show, uh, Oklahoma's favorite podcast, bringing you 100% auditorial pleasure. Thanks for downloading the Elijah Bailey Show from iTunes or BlackStudios.com. And here's a word from some of the folks that make it possible for you to hear this show for free every Thursday. The Elijah Bailey Show is a podcast that is sponsored by Black and Studios, Oklahoma's premier podcast production studio. To start your podcast journey today, visit them at www.blackandstudios.com or send them an email to podcast at blackandstudios.com. If you enjoy all their podcasts, including this one, then follow them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Black and Studios. Remember, it's Black and. The Elijah Bailey Show is also sponsored by. Hey folks, this is Elijah 5000 here with you, and I got a deal for you today. Again, our sponsors, Ripped Apparel, are giving you the best in exotic pop culture, anime, manga, and comic book shirts. So just go to RippedApparel.com at checkout. Use promo code Elijah Bailey Show and get a 10% discount, which saves you so much damn money on a awesome ass shirt. Remember, stay ripped. Okay, now that was the last one uh, of the shout-outs. I remember now, all coming back to me. Um, <laughs> it's been so long since I actually produced and actually ran the Elijah Bailey Show, and he has done so much uh, as far as it, it seems simple to you all, just the videos, the pop-ups that he does, and the music and everything, but uh, he probably has the most complicated uh, situation over here out of all the 15 shows that currently record at Black & Studios. So, uh, like the sponsorships and commercials said, follow Black and Studios on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and also Snapchat. Uh, we have some really, really amazing things that's coming your way. Uh, this is going to be a really cool second portion of 2018, and uh, Elijah's excited. So am I. But that's enough of me rambling on about that. I'm about to go ahead and I believe I'm about to start the show intro music. If this is it, let's find out. Oh, God. Dog, I love that music. That music just sent chills up my spine. Elijah Bay, this is one is for you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. Let's get it rocking. Oh. 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 Yeah, y'all probably thought I was about to hit y'all with a freestyle, but I'm not. Uh, I'm here, the Fallen Angel, a.k.a. the Buckety. Uh, solo dolo today. Elijah Bailey's taking the old lady out to the movie theaters. But don't worry. I know I didn't do the 3 two, one but this is still Oklahoma's favorite and finest podcast. Uh, sponsored by Black and Studios, the Elijah Bailey Show. For all you guys new here, uh, we are a podcast that supports the deepest in fandom. Uh, on a weekly basis, covering anything from gaming, anime, comic book, uh, whatever really we want to hit on. I think even last week we actually talked about fitness, which is so awesome because fitness was actually something that we actually started this podcast on. Uh, so psh, with that, he has all this other stuff that I was trying to, I was trying to do as good as I can. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Let me just cut the music. I, I'm trying to do this Elijah Bailey bugle the way that he would do it, but um, he has so much stuff on here. Uh, shout out to Black Studios, of course, the extraordinary journey of a black nurse for our country role, Funimation, OKC podcast community for keeping us together uh, as a group here in Oklahoma, and also a couple other things. But you can find our show now on Spotify. That's the information that I'm super excited about. I think we talked about it last episode, but just in case... Go to Spotify, search Elijah Bailey Show, click follow. You will always be able to see it there. And just because I am the top producer here at Black & Studios, I do have to mention, follow One Mic, One Voice, Turn On The Game podcast, and of course, the Black & Studios, the Black Box. We just learned it on Spotify. And we are about to relaunch 
Uh, I guess this would be season like 28, but technically season two of the Black Box. So stay tuned for that. Um, so we're going to just jump right in to the Daily Bugle. If I forgot anything, I'm pretty sure Elijah will let you guys know. Uh, I wanted to start off with, uh, let's see here. Let's see. What did I have on my docket today? Um, so, like we always do, whenever someone leaves us in this human realm that we're in, I'm talking about life or death, uh, we like to start that off with the show. So we want to give a, uh, a, our condolences uh, to Steve Dicko. I, I hope I didn't pronounce his name wrong, but he's the co-founder of Spider-Man with Stan Lee. Uh, he was found dead at the age of 90 in his New York apartment on June 29th. Uh, he, like I said, he was a co-creator of Spider-Man. So, uh, as we all know, Spider-Man is a huge character in the Marvel series. And to see one of the greats gone, it does hurt. But we are happy that he still left us with so much content. And just the amazing character of Spider-Man. Uh, Tom Holland, which is actually the, if I'm correct, the Spider-Man, I'm not correct, I know for a fact, the Spider-Man that plays at Homecoming and also the Avenger movies, uh, he tweeted out if i can find it let's see that wasn't it where is it there you up oh, nope nope that's that's a that was a spoiler there you go he tweeted out we all want to leave our mark on the world this guy crushed it he made so many people so happy and changed lives most of all mine thank you steve your life lives on man thank you uh, so that was, uh, and a bunch of people were pouring out a lot of different uh, tweets and also messages, uh, giving their condolences. Uh, so I'm going to keep the show going right along. I want to hit on Game of Thrones. And if anyone did see that little piece of uh, picture I just popped up, that was actually Mizey Williams, which is, if I pronounce her first name right, I'm not sure. But we all know her as the Arya, Arya Stock. Um, which was a little stock of the whole stock family that has been um, the victim of the Game of Thrones. I think if any family or any series that I ever watched or anything like that, the stocks, God damn, they were, things couldn't go right for these stock people, even though they were happy-go-lucky people. The, the, the family's just all tormented. But it seemed like the last season seven, they were, or season six, I want to say, they kind of started kind of finding each other. Siblings start finding each other. Um, one of the ones that were remaining. And then we just finished it. We're not just finished, but last year, season seven, we saw like all the sisters are together, or at least they know of each other now. Uh, little brand stock. Uh, everything's moving on a lot better. They're communicating once again. But anyway, season eight coming out 2019. And uh, Aria, I'm going to call her Aria, shared not that one, but this one of her shoes, bloody shoes. Look at some sneakers. I'm pretty sure this wasn't the shoes she wore on the scene but uh, who knows but she says goodbye Belfast goodbye Aria goodbye Game of Thrones we enjoy uh, we well, what a joy I've had here's to adventures to come uh, I've also followed monster or the uh, the mountain there we go I don't know why I call him monster because he looked like a monster but I follow mountain on Instagram as well and he has been posting a lot of uh, different clips or pictures of him and full mountain gear so expect to see him in season eight but uh man um game of thrones is probably one of the few live action uh shows that i get just so hyped for uh definitely get hyped for power which all my power fans who are out there uh that's 150 cent and all that stuff uh that comes on stars that just dropped this first episode last sunday and tonight is episode two but Outside for that, Game of Thrones, I think everybody is just so hyped for. I mean, this is supposed to be the season finale. It's like I don't want it to end, but we're in season eight, and quite frankly, I'm ready for it to end uh, just because I want to know what goes down. Does everybody end up dying? Uh, I know the people who read the books. I didn't read the books, so I'm just excited to see what is going to transpire. Uh, so if you want to follow her, uh, there go her stuff right there. Uh, just, you know. Copy it, whatever, quickly escape, come right back to Twitch, follow her, and uh, we're going to keep this show going. Next on my list is, uh, speaking of, like I said earlier, Elijah's at the movie theaters with his uh, old lady, The Incredibles 2, if you have not seen them, like me, join the boat, it seems like we're missing out on something really huge here, because they are making box office news, man, why can't I not find the images, there we go, they are making box office news, uh, The Incredibles 2, uh, 
is the first animated movie to completely blow the waters and money. Uh, when I say about that, they have actually crossed the $500 million in domestic, in domestic box office. Just in case if you live under a rock, Incredibles 2 is the sequel to Incredible, which came out in 2004. It has been damn near 14 years where everybody has been waiting to see what happens next. And uh, they do it so well, just moving things right along. Incredible 2 start out exactly where Incredible 1 is left off at. So I need to quit procrastinating and go check out this film. If you guys have already seen it, uh, let me and Elijah know how it is. Because if I'm correct, I don't think Elijah has seen it. Uh, because I feel like we would have mentioned it or he would have hit me up about it. Um, so I have one more cool topic I'm going to talk about. But first, we are going to actually take a quick break if I can find his break stuff. Uh, there we go. We're going to take a quick break and then we will actually be back with uh, a big topic that I want to hit on briefly real quick uh, in the Bailey Bugle. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hey folks, this is Elijah 5000 and Monica Robinson, and we're your host of A Little Bit of Anime, your number one stopping spot for all the latest in anime's news and reviews. If you want to join in all the fun and anime goodness, then make sure to subscribe, rate, and review on Apple Podcasts and Podbean. And please join us every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Elijah underscore 5000. And remember, please brighten your day with, with a, a little, little bit, bit of anime. anime. Hey, this is your boy Frog. I'm here with Chris, Justin, and Philip, and we host Turn On The Game, the podcast. The show consists of four men commentating on the sports world. It's strictly opinion show. It's as if you were sitting on the couch watching the game with your boys. And you can follow us on Twitter at Turn On The underscore game. You can hit us up on our Facebook page at Turn On The Game. And you can even follow us on Instagram at Turn On The Game. Or you can listen to us on Podbean, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher by searching Turn On The Game. You can email us at Turn On The Game, the number four at gmail.com. Turn On The Game is sponsored by Blackened Studios, Oklahoma City's premier podcasting studio. Turn On. And we are back, or I am back, with the Elijah Bailey Show, the special edition, the Daily Bugle, only Elijah Bailey Bugle, and I have ran out of crown, because uh, I hate doing solo shows, be real with y'all, I uh, don't care for them, but the show must go on. Um, we are back, we just hit on a couple of news, and I want to hit on this the, the main thing that I felt like it was destined for Elijah to give me uh, full access to the Daily Bugle this week. So we heard some really cool news, but before I get into it, I want to tease to this phenomenal news that we had heard. Um, let's see, where is the first image? Okay, that's the Incredibles. Here we go. So my buddy, Brett Fisher, shout out to you. Infectious 18, thank you. You had showed me, he actually like snap something like this to me and sent it to me but this is actually pacific rim 2 uh, the uprising if you haven't seen it uh, go check it out i have yet to see it yet just because i did not really care for pacific rim the first one uh but because i saw this gundam which if you can't see you see the you see the ears and you see the guns you see the chest uh was a easter egg and pacific rim on a to uprising i was trying to find an actual clip that actually showed it but um i couldn't i i, I just i just couldn't find it so uh but this is a teaser so the legendary or yeah, legendary entertainment which is the uh people who made pacific rim uh decided to throw in this beautiful uh gundam if i'm correct it looks like um looks like a gundam reborn from what i uh, originally thought because of how long the uh, antennas is on the ears but uh in the, the length of the legs. But now that I'm looking at even more, the shoulders aren't adding up completely. So I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to, have to do some more research. I just kind of like pulled it from my phone and threw it up here. But uh, we're going to move on with these little teases. I, I got something for you. I, I, I just, I, just bear with me. Just bear with me. So that was Pacific Rim 2. Another thing that uh, my buddy, Brett Fisher, had told me, and this actually got me super excited was that, and I'm about to actually include this in here, I uh, thought I already had it loaded, but I did not, is that if you haven't seen Pacific, not Pacific Rim, but uh, 
Ready Player One. Uh, let me hit on that just real quick. Dude, that movie is awesome. I finally actually watched it a couple of days ago. And if you're not a video game lover, you might like it, you might not. Honestly, I'm, I'm not 100% sure because I am a video game lover. And when I watch this movie, it, it touches on just everything good for a gamer. An old school gamer. I, I, let me make sure I, I, I make that very clear. It's definitely an old school gamer because it has this... Uh, where do I even begin? It, I heard the amount of Easter eggs and different cameos from different video games, even just movies, is like over thousands. Uh, you have the Back to the Future. You have Teenage Mutant Turtles. You even have the Battletoads. You have Godzilla, which you guys would actually get to see a little snippet from that. You have a plethora of just different cameos. Uh, I think even Tron, I feel like, came in. A- a- Akira from the anime. Uh, one of the main characters, uh, she drives his bike at the beginning, and it's uh, actually Akira's bike. And what's so cool about the anime, or this movie, is that they're, they're not ashamed of it. They're calling out what they see. Uh, you, you, ha- you have Halo references. You have Gears of War references. And it, the movie was just, it was phenomenal to me. Uh, I hate that I never went to actually go see it um, And when it came out, because as a gamer, I should have been able to support this movie. But uh, with that being said, I actually just now have it set up. So uh, in this phenomenal movie, and this is one reason why the movie became phenomenal to me, is because they actually have this beautiful scene that I'm about to show you real quick of a particular... So every so just to give you a quick sentence of what happened, uh, this is the climax part. So this is... I'm trying my best to not push any spoilers, but there's a chance you might see some spoilers here. Um, here it is right here. So, yes, I'm, I'm recording this <laughs> very, uh, very discreetly. But um, the, it's a climax area where there's a this huge battle going on. And one of the coast, like, little clan chooses a Gundam. He's about to transform into the Gundam. There's a huge battle going on. Good guys versus bad corporation type thing. And in this scene, the dude transformed into RX-78 Amaro's Gundam or RX-78-2 Amaro's Gundam. That's Godzilla in the background. It gets real. Oh, my goodness. And it was actually a really cool fight scene. I do not have the whole thing, nor did I want to show too much of that video because you saw the way I was capturing it. It was very, very uh, buckety-ish. But leading up to all this... So we see Gundam and Pacific Rim. We see Gundam and Ready, Set, Player One. I want to hit on the fact that, no, you know what? Screw it. Let's just just, just, just dive right in. I think this is it uh, right here. So I'm going to let this play while I actually tell you guys what happened. Um, so this past weekend was actually the Anime Expo 2018 that held out in L.A. A uh, huge convention where they pretty much go over everything anime related. Uh, best believe I will be there very soon. Hopefully next year to actually give you guys hand-to-hand stuff because everybody knows I love anime. But um, Legendary Entertainment, the people who made Pacific Rim, and Sunrise, who are actually the creators of Gundam or their, the animated portion of Gundam, uh, announced a live action my glass was empty I couldn't take none but a live action Gundam coming our way um, they didn't really talk too much in the fine details because if you don't know what Gundam is uh, I suggest you just google it or check out one of Elijah's episodes I even think we recorded an episode over Gundam uh, but Gundam is like the original big robot OG in Japan uh, it does really good here but it's like a It's like a a religion in Japan. Um, They did make reference that's going to refer to the Universal Century series of Gundam, uh, which is the original Gundam. Uh, The UC, they didn't say which timeline or anything like that. And uh, this actually right here is not a trailer from it, just FYI. This is actually uh, a, a, a show or a series they did that was actually phenomenal. But... Just in case, I do want to let you guys know that Gundam, this is not this first time doing a live action. Uh, G-Survivor, which I actually own this movie. (laughs) 
and it, it I wouldn't recommend it if you are a Gundam fan I still wouldn't recommend it uh, unless you're a Gundam fan like myself that just have to have Gundam stuff just because you're you feel obligated uh, I purchased this I want to say I was still in it came out in 2004 so I no it actually came out in 2000 I, excuse me it came out in 2000 uh, it was actually a Canada release first but um this uh, I had the video and I don't even want to show you guys the video of it because it's 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 rough. It's like going to the gamer stand and asking them would they re- like recommend you watching the original Street Fighter movie. Um it's a uh this this was so rough that uh the the actual one of the co-creators of uh Gundam went to I believe it was the Anime Expo in 2017 and disapproved of it. You know, he said that this did not represent anything. But the reason I want to build like show this is two reasons. A because this is the first live action Gundam and then also if you watch the story, it's about the Universal Century Gundam trilogy or storyline. Um it's way off in the future. It's like 200 years or almost like 150 years further into the future than what the uh, a Gundam is now or the, the traditional Gundam universe century. So ah, I'm kind of concerned, but I'm excited. Uh, I'm concerned because the last live action didn't work too well, even though that was almost 20 years ago. And then I'm not just, I wasn't a fan of Pacific Rim one. I'm going to give Pacific Rim two a chance, but that style also kind of concerns me. But I'm also excited. I'm all, I'm excited anytime I hear an anime making a live action. I think that's a huge trip. I think it. Excuse me. I think it's very difficult as well because you have your anime lovers uh, in their head ready to see a certain thing, and then you have just your normal, you know, any day movie watcher, open minded. But you have a movie that's trying to gear more towards anime. In my mind, it works simple, but. You know, we have movies like live action, you know, Death Note, uh, Mob, you know, 100, uh, Mob Cycle 100. We have uh, Full Metal. We have uh, Bleach is getting worked on. And I think there's one more Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball. Ooh, man, I don't even want to finish that sentence. But we have a lot of them that come and go and that just really don't do too well. Um, so, with this one being done by a main big production company i'm really hoping that they're able to kind of bring it all together and you know somehow make it work but only time will tell they like i said they're in the very very large stages of it um but i am like i said ultimately i'm excited um be cool if i can actually star in the damn movie so if you're watching this uh i'll be 100 percent down to be on the show or be on the movie um man thank you i think i have conquered my first the Elijah Bailey Bugle. Like I said, you can follow me at Blackest Studios. Let me throw that down there for you one more time. Bam! And that's the best way to watch myself and also everything that goes on at the studio. Shout out to Elijah Bailey. Follow him at Elijah Bailey Show. Uh, and thank you if you're listening to this on the podcast. Check us out on Twitch. We're, we try to record every Sunday, roughly around 2 o'clock. Of course, since I'm doing this show, it's super late. It's about 3.30. It's about the time I record this one. But um, thank you once again. Shout out to everybody who support us. Uh, we love you. Elijah, I hope you're enjoying that movie. And you're welcome. Uh, man, I don't even know what our music is to go out on. I think it's the outro. <laughs> I'm not sure. So I'm just going to just go and bump this real quick because I love the song. That's it. Ah, oh, how could I forget? Yes. Check us out on Spotify once again. Twitch, thank you. We love you. Peace.